Ta-da! I'm literally obsessed with it. I love that we got Molly on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a exam tomorrow. So it's like the cutest little oversized beach hat. <laughs> Good morning! Today is a very beautiful day. I'm still like half asleep. Ignore that. Hi, if you guys are new here, my name is Peyton. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you guys are already subscribed. So, like I said, today is the most beautiful day ever because I'm finally getting my hair done. So I'm getting balayage and I'm so excited. I got it done last summer and that was the first time I had ever colored my hair or done like anything to my hair. So last summer she went like super, super low key, I guess, on it. She just wanted to like gradually introduce my hair to getting a little bit lighter. So today Today, I'm just gonna tell her to full send and go for it. I just want to go. Well, okay That's not exactly true. I don't think my hair is ready to go like blonde Balayage at all. I think it's more gonna be like a lighter brown to almost blonde situation I'm not really like familiar with hair and the coloring or anything like that So you guys will see what it looks like but apparently we cannot she can't dry my hair there so I'm gonna leave there with wet hair and then we're just gonna come back and dry it and see what it looks like it's also like so dead like it needs to just be cut like I'm just so excited um, I've been waiting for this for literally like two or three months now yeah I'm just gonna take you guys along with me and then when we get home we have quite a bit to do today I'm leaving for up north tomorrow so we're gonna pack together we're probably gonna work out together we are going to do some homework together we just have a lot to get done today and I thought it was perfect to vlog with you guys so I'm literally so excited to get my hair done I can put my hairstylist down below if you guys are interested in that because I really like her so I'll check in with you guys I probably won't take you in there just because of like sanitary reasons um, so I'll check in with you guys afterwards when my hair is done Ta -da! So I just got back like actually probably about an hour ago from the hair salon and as I told you guys they were not doing let me sit for a second um, they were not drying or like styling hair because first of all COVID and then when I went in there today she was like actually I can I have enough time so I think like the restrictions kind of changed a little bit but then the power went out so there's it's kind of been stormy here today but it wasn't like storming at the time that it went out so that was really weird so she obviously couldn't like hook up her blow dryer so I came home and styled it myself first I blow dried it because it was still a little bit wet and then I threw some curls and I really like it it's definitely to me a lot different than my old hair um, I've always been kind of like a dark brown haired person and this is like much more light brown almost a little blonde in some areas so I'm really excited and like I said I can link down her information below so this is just balayage I can insert some pictures that I showed her from Pinterest right along here those were the inspo but obviously everybody's hair colors differently so yeah let me do a little side view and then this side so like this part right here is super light. She just does a really good job and she just cut off my dead ends. So nothing like huge, not a big crazy difference. So I'm so excited about it. My sister's actually getting her balayage done right now too. So she should be home any second and I just wanna see what hers looks like. She didn't wanna go to the same lady as me because she didn't want our hair to look the exact same. So we'll see how different it looks. But I also just got a package in from Zaffle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hold on. So, I always like reading and watching reviews on Zaffle bikinis. Um, I only got two of them. I'm so excited. So, I figured I would try them on and show you guys what they look like as long as they look like, oof. This looks a little bit small. Okay we'll try it I love this one it has butterflies on it so I'll try this on for you guys these are the bottoms and then this one actually I recently saw Emma McDonald came out with a collection and this is part of hers I think oh boy that's gonna be really small 
Um, so this was part of, her, part of her collection, but I didn't know that at the time because she came out with the collection afterwards. So this one's really cute. It's like a t-shirt style bikini. So yeah, I'll try these on for you guys and let you know what I think of them. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this bikini if it picks up the light. This is the one that I was talking about that is technically, I think, Emma McDonald's collection. So I'm literally obsessed with it. It is a pink tie-dye color and it's like a short sleeve like it's so comfortable um i got a size medium and it fits pretty perfectly um i'm not going to show you guys the bottom because it's a little cheeky um but it definitely is a cheekier fit so if you guys don't like that i wouldn't suggest this one and this other butterfly one i cannot figure out how to properly put it on my body so I think I'm gonna try again one more time. I got frustrated and went right into this bikini. So yeah, I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I can get it. Okay guys, I kind of figured this one out. It is a very, as you guys saw when I first pulled them out, it is like the teeniest little triangle. Um, the bottoms are super cute though. They're really easy. They are a string bikini that you can just adjust yourself. They are also cheeky. I wonder if I can show you, I wanna show you the back of this. Okay, so as you guys can tell, this is what I couldn't figure out was the strappiness of them and how they strap together so what i'm thinking is if i tighten these straps a little bit this top will just stay together better but yeah it's really cute it's like a really cute white butterfly -y top and i think it looks really good with a good tan so i will link both of these bikinis down below if i were to recommend one it would definitely be that pink tie-dye one because that is seriously so cute this one i would recommend for like tanning but not at all for like water sports or anything like that so i'm going to get to change again i think my sister might be home so i'm gonna go see her and then we will probably do my homework in a second <laughs> i don't even know it's gonna get even lighter she told me it's not gonna get that much lighter okay because i bought purple shampoo okay you do what you're supposed to. Oh wow, it is a flounder. I love that we got balayage on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi. And you can't even tell my, oh my gosh, I look like a... My mom here. got balayage too, but it's it's there. It's just like browner. Yeah, well it's not really balayage either. So this is the homework that I have to do today. Chapter 14 and 15. And this is like the little website we use. So basically I have two assignments for each chapter. One is pronunciation and one is just like homework questions. So we also have a exam tomorrow. So I take a bunch of notes on Word and all of that jazz as I go through these questions and the chapter in the book. So that's what I'm about to do. I think I'm going to do one chapter and then I'm going to go work out. I'm going to do an arms and abs workout today. It's much needed. I've just kind of been like all over the place recently. Like just very busy and like I've been eating out a lot and I'm going up north tomorrow, which I will vlog for you. I'm going with my best friend, Caitlin. So I'm so excited. Um, she has like bow and I'm going to try like water skiing and everything like that. So I will vlog the whole thing. So yeah, I've just felt very off with my health and fitness pretty much i just feel kind of bleh and i mentioned i think in my last vlog that like my body's also just really fatigued from all the workouts i've been doing so it's like i can't really win so today i'm just gonna do intermediate level workouts and when i'm up north i think i'm just gonna like try to like walk maybe do like a little hit circuit but like kind of keep it a little bit more low-key to just restore my body um i'm gonna try to eat healthy but that's kind of hard when you're up north like lots of grilling and i'm sure ice cream and stuff like that but i don't know I'll get back to it eventually. I just have to do it in little increments. So yeah, I'm gonna do this homework for a little while and then I will take you guys with me for my workout. I just finished my homework I'm so excited I do have one more chapter to do after I work out but I just want to like get moving for a second I've been sitting all day long I wanted to show you guys this hat that I also just 
got I've as you can tell I've been on a little online shopping kick so this hat is like a little beach hat I'll put it on for you guys let me take these off so it's like the cutest little oversized beach hat I had been wanting like one of these for so long but I just couldn't find one and then my mom found one for me so I wanted to share it with you guys I don't think it was super expensive it was on sale at J Crew, so I can link it down below for you guys but I am literally so excited about this it's perfect since I just got my hair done because it obviously will hide my hair from the sun so it doesn't turn into that like yellowy color and yeah I just think it's so cute and it's so summery I feel like you could even wear this like out kind of to like a farmers market if they ever have those again or even just like when I I'm going to Traverse City in two weeks which is up in northern Michigan so I'm going with my boyfriend and I just feel like walking around in this is going to be such a vibe yeah I'll link this down below for you guys but yeah, I just thought I'd mention it because I had been looking for one of these for so long. I also, just so you guys know, I got the size medium large because I have a larger head. My mom got the size small medium, but the medium large fits me really well. And I think there's even a large extra large if you need to go further than that. And I'm going to get changed for my workout. Alright guys, I just got changed. All I did was actually just change... I just put th this Nike sports bra on with the joggers I had on. They are just Lulu joggers and I didn't really feel like changing to be honest. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing an arms and ab workout today and I will film it for you guys. I'm also just going to start with a cardio warm up just to get like my heart pumping because as I mentioned earlier, I've literally just been sitting all day long and I kind of just want to get a little bit sweaty. Yeah, I'm going to film a little bits and pieces of it for you. And then when we get back inside, I really need to pack for the cottage tomorrow as well as finish up my homework. So that's the agenda for today. And then I will most likely still see Steven later this evening. And I don't know if you can tell you probably can't, but it's super gloomy out today. So hopefully that goes away for the cottage experience with my friend Caitlin, which I'm going to vlog the entire thing. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like this video and yeah, let's get into this workout. Alright guys, workout is done. I tried so hard to keep my hair like in a low pony and not get it all ruined, but it definitely got ruined because I got really sweaty and just gross. But I think I'm just going to take a body shower since obviously I just got my hair washed and done today. I don't want to wash it a second time. We need to go pack because I'm a procrastinator and I just got home from visiting my friend in Ohio this weekend so I was home for like two days and now I'm leaving again so I just feel like mumble jumbled in my brain and yeah we need to pack and I need to edit this video somehow and see Steven and do my homework <laughs> so I feel very busy today but whatever so let's go shower up really quickly and alrighty guys we are all showered my goal of not getting my hair wet kind of failed just because I was like shaving and even though my hair was in a bun I feel like it still got wet so now it's just kind of in shambles so as I just get ready and freshen up a little bit, I just wanted to talk to you guys and ask how everyone is doing right now. I am personally doing a lot better ever since things started opening up. I feel like more myself again, but I've noticed that I have been experiencing some like anxious feelings, um, which is kind of unlike me. I'm not really an anxious person and I'm very grateful for that but recently I've just been experiencing some and I have no idea what it's from my guess is just like everything in the world going on is kind of just stressing me out and my subconscious is like 
just obviously like feeling a little anxious so there will be days when I wake up with just like a pit in my stomach I've never really experienced that before but I just wanted to be real with you guys because I can only imagine those who might have already been dealing with anxiety previously um, how like you guys are doing with everything that's going on right now so I am sending you guys all my love and just want to let you know that I I'm even feeling a little bit anxious too and we're in this together I think a lot of people are feeling anxious that would be my guess so yeah I just want to be real and transparent with you guys but I will say now that I'm not like cooped up at home and now that I can kind of see my boyfriend and stuff I do just feel happier and I've been able to kind of do some mini trips um, like I said I went to Ohio to visit my friend and we went on like this really cool hike so that was really nice and then I'm going up north tomorrow and then as I mentioned earlier I'm going to Traverse City with my boyfriend that again will be nice to just like get outside and stuff things are definitely still different and I am making it priority to still be very cautious because the pandemic is not away it's still very much here and I want to keep my friends and family safe so we will mostly just be doing outdoor things but obviously I'll vlog that for you guys too so yeah I hope you guys are doing well comment down below if you have any thoughts and feelings that you want to share you can always DM me on Instagram I love talking to you guys so I will have my Instagram linked down below. Yeah, now that I'm all showered up, I think I'm gonna finish my homework because that's like number one priority. And then my boyfriend will be coming over and I think he'll help me pack a little bit for the cottage. Um, it's not like a huge packing extravaganza because it's just Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's not like, I, and it's a cottage, you know, like you spend the whole time in like running shorts and a big baggy t-shirt. So I think I will be okay. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening is we, it's already, I've had the busiest day today. It is eight. 10 and we are just getting to packing those are really gross i wouldn't touch them <laughs> demon is just going to be my packer upper he's always i showed them this hat it's so Thank cute you. he always helps me just roll everything up and put it in the bag so i'm just gonna toss things at him and we're gonna do it together okay so i'm going to bring the new zaffle bikinis that i got this one is so cute and then i also need to bring one for like water skiing so something that's nice and secure Okay, so we got the bikinis. Now I'll probably do some dresses. So this is like a long maxi dress that I'll bring. And then this is a cute little like open hole cover. From Both of them are from Aerie actually. Okay, I'm going to bring a bunch of just little tank tops because I feel like those will be necessary. I feel like I'm going to overpack so much. I'm going to bring these two ribbed camis from Aerie. Can you tell there's a theme here? I love Aerie. <laughs> so this is a jumpsuit that I'll bring from Aerie as well. Aerie, sponsor me. <laughs> Up next, the bottoms. First and foremost, Lululemon shorts. Next, Lululemon leggings for the nighttime. I'm gonna pack a jean skirt literally for picture purposes only. We're gonna pack this cutie patootie little hat. We're gonna pack this Adidas bucket hat. Look how cute it is. Obviously, we need to pack underwear and socks. Sockaroo. 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 <laughs> and then, other than that, I'm just going to pack my toiletries and, like, maybe some jewelry. And that's pretty much it. It's supposed to be low-key. You guys are probably already thinking to yourself, Peyton, why are you packing so much for, like, two and a half days? <laughs> I know Steven's thinking that, but that's just how I roll. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video because I am going to be filming this entire cottage experience and I'm really excited about it. And then I will film him and I going to Traverse City like a week after that. It's coming up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys so, so much and we will see you next time. Bye. Ha <laughs>